Okay, it's time for uh, you to change my plugs. Oh, that's what this is about. <laughs> Hi, I'm Douglas Glad from Hot Rod. And I'm Jacob Davis, and this is Garage Night, where we get together in our garages, look at our engines, and point at things. We're going to put some plugs in the Hemi Demon. It's an eight-second car, and uh, because it's so fast, it likes to foul plugs, likes to use fuel. Let's talk about plugs real quick. All right, so this is your standard muscle car plug, copper core. This is what we're using. This is an iridium core. Uh, the idea is the iridium is, is also a good conductor, but it also has some properties that resist fouling, things like that. Uh, you can see here that this is the Hemi's got a tapered plug as opposed to the gasketed style. Uh, it also has a different reach. That's this area here. Uh, it's also a lot colder. You can't look at this. You can't look at the insulator and know if it's a colder or hotter plug. You have to go by the reference numbers, right? So if I get this right, NGK, as the number gets higher, the plug gets colder. And most of the rest of the manufacturers are the opposite. You're not actually getting a like colder spark? No, no, yeah, the spark's the, the same. Spark's the same. What, they, what they mean by colder is so the insulator here is longer on a hotter plug, so it holds the heat in the plug longer before it goes out through the threads and into the block. And the goal is to reduce the temperature inside your cylinder in every way possible to prevent detonation. So that's why you run colder plugs, especially on an application where you have a lot going on like this. Cut. Cut. It didn't even hit the ground either, so it's gone forever. <laughs> You'll never see that tool ever again. Oh, that's how it works. I don't have anything clever to say right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well this one's completely black. Yeah, it's what a lot of them look like. Okay, so what happens here when you foul a plug is you build up so much carbon on the electrode that the spark actually finds a different path besides going from here to the ground strap and actually sparking the, the mixture. It actually will go directly to ground and this plug just won't fire. I think they built the theme of the drag race. Because they shortened the wheelbase, made it lighter, made it cooler, right? Because this is a 71, so it's got the split grill, which is cool. I see, of, you have two, I see you have two grills. Well, is that the original up on the wall or is the one in the car? The no, one? I just bought a spare. Just in case. Look, I'm a guy that if I want something, I'm thinking, hey, I should get that. I go to Craigslist. The perfect one is there at a really low price. I found if I ignore that and go, oh, well, they're everywhere. And then I come back in six months. It won't be there. Anymore. It won't be there or it'll be $1,000. So that's a $100 drill. All right. Uh, I'm going to send them at 35 What do you think? They were at 30 before, but that was a dyno where they yeah. were full throttle, being crazy. I'm gonna go 35 and see if I can save these plugs for a couple of miles, right? Yeah, I mean, that'll probably help them knock that out in here quick. So. so I'm gonna use the correct gapper, correct tool, bend it over. 35,000. Okay. Some of the tools we're using today uh, are Craftsman Industrial. So it says industrial on it, and they also say made in USA on it. Called them and they're 100% made in USA, which is really cool. Uh, they've got a nice handle there on the new ratchet. You can see, kind of doesn't, doesn't trash your hand. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that's about. And then here's another cool thing that some of you guys haven't seen, but back in the day when Craftsman had their anniversary, they actually produced gold-plated half-inch wrenches. Wow. And they I'd be also, scared to use that. Well, I haven't. Look at it. <laughs> That's cool. So uh, they did these, and they also did uh, gold-plated ratchets. Uh, 2003, I believe, was their anniversary. So cool stuff. So this thing is real uh, sensitive to how much fuel's in it. So, a, lot of, a lot of race cars are. Yeah, I mean, really sensitive. You look in there and you think it's full, yeah. and you're off like a half a gallon, it'll it'll stumble a little bit, because there's so many G's on the hit. And you even have it baffled and everything, so. Okay. 
Okay, and there's $80. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. All right, you got your site done? Yeah, we got right. everything buttoned up and put back together. All right, let's put the hood on and go do burnouts. All righty. It's doing pretty good. All the popping went away. There's no giant blue flame shooting at. You guys are behind me, right? Yeah. So I popped off the trans brake a little bit. Uh, that's not going to last, right? Because there's oil dripping into the cylinders, and mm -hmm. you can see it just puff of smoke yeah, when I shut bit. it off. So the good news is I don't have to do the heads. Bad news is I got to take a valve cover off, and now the turbos are red hot. So I'm just going to do a little burnout, and they're going to pack it in until it cools off, fix it up. All right, I think we're done. Let's head back to the garage. See you guys later. Well, I know all we really did was change the spark plug. And add about $400 worth of fuel. But if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and share. Or email us at hotrod at hotrod.com. Yeah. We hit this issue in one of the shots. Comment below with where it's at for your chance to win a free year subscription.